I wanted to ask you, um, we you saw Simon at the end of last season and kind of what, what, what do you picture for him going into this season as far as the role he'll play? You know, I foresee him being in our top four to start the season. Um, I think uh, him with his overall play from Grand Rapids last year, what he gave us down the stretch last year, um, where he was slotted with our push at the end last year, uh, we foresee him in a similar role. Um, so I see him in a top four, um, and we'll kind of let it uh, play out from there. Um, Hopefully, you know, he can even eat minutes. If he's got to go in one night, um, he might be a little fluid with our top four even. Um, if he earns more minutes, uh, he'll get more minutes. We're going to play to win. And if he is the guy that earns those minutes to help us out on the stretch, he'll get those minutes. What does a performance from him look like when he's at his best? Consistency. Um, turning pucks at, uh breaking pucks out clean, um, being long, um, defending well, getting stops. You know, last year, he created some offense with just with his long stick, keeping plays alive on four checks, keeping ozone plays alive. And a few seconds later, ends up in the back of the opponent's net. So, uh, and not turning the puck over. I think just some overall consistency you know, in his game, a clean game, is our expectations of him. And I know things can change, but for, for the time being, uh, your thoughts on putting him with Jeff? Uh, size, lefty, righty. Um, PD can be easy to play off at times, pretty simple, pretty predictable. Uh, that That's the vision and uh, where he's starting today. And Leslie, just, I mean, do you like to, like, I mean, Jeff can certainly be a mentor for a young guy like that. I mean, he's been in every pressure situation. Possible. 100%. Yeah. Jeff's seen everything and then some, every situation uh, would, could, could, could be a perfect mentor in that relationship. Are you a fishing guy as well? Uh, Simon said he's going fishing. Are you? <laughs> no, no fishing for me. No. <laughs> Thank you. I Dan. love, yeah, I don't mind the odd fishing time, but no, not today. Thank you. Max? Hey, Derek, I just wanted to ask you about some of the young forwards you got in camp here that are starting to kind of get to the age where they can push. What do you expect from guys like Danielson, Mazer, Casper, even Brancic Meegard, and what have you seen so far? Uh, we want to push. Um, I would like those guys to obviously be respectful uh, to the veterans, but to be fighting for their spot. Um, it's the reality of growing. Uh, we want that push from them. And it's only two days in, but a lot of positives. Uh, I would say Marcos had two very strong days. Um, Danielson, Carter, very similar. Um, Nygaard is you know, trying to figure some things out here. Uh, obviously, there's even a little language barrier that I don't think um, people can appreciate. It's a little more difficult at times. Uh, but all those guys have uh, shown well. Uh, they compete. I think has elevated the first two days of uh, camp so far. Marco is a guy I was watching him in that uh, corner battle drill yesterday, and he seems like he has kind of a maybe a little extra weight, but maybe also an extra spark from last year. Like, where are the differences from this time last year for him? Yeah, you know, while we were talking in the room yesterday, he doesn't even look like a, the same athlete as last year at this time in camp. Um, he built some confidence uh, from his growth in GR last year, and I. I think that playoff run was very valuable for him. Uh, he's got some attitude into camp this year, which is a certain, certainly a positive. Thank you. Connor. Hi, Derek. Uh, a question I have here is about your defense bearings. Um, I'm curious, like when you're looking at how guys kind of complement each other, the chemistry that they have, is that something you're, really looking at at this point in training camp, or are you looking more at their individual skills, what they've done in the off season, kind of what they're bringing as an individual player? Probably a little more of the individual skill, uh, where they're at individually, but of course uh, we'll be looking for some chemistry. Obviously um, we had a decor top four, if you will, intact from our push at the end of last year. Uh, would love to see some chemistry um, that top four, could be fluid a little bit at times. Um, 
you know, sometimes guys have some chemistry with just puck support, um, you know, being able to get pucks out uh, on a breakout, uh, some chemistry there. Um, so, yeah, I, of course you're starting to envision some pairs, you know, no, no different than my conversation and comments about our offensive lines yesterday or our forward lines. Uh, we'll be looking at some different things, could be fluid and try to get a combination there. And when you talk about that fluidity, especially with the top four, I mean, are you looking for maybe some guys to step up? Like, why why that fluidity? Uh, I think the, the that's what we saw last year with some success. Um, you know, that'd be the vision. But you know, of course, we're we're open for anything, I and mean, we're we're playing to win every single night. And whoever can give us those minutes to win, uh, they're going to get those minutes. And you see a little bit last year. You know, some. A D man might get 15, 16 one night, and then all of a sudden the next night is in 18, low 20s. Um, you know, that's just our vision right now. And then lastly, uh, I saw Tarasenko working with you on the, the whiteboard at the end of that practice. Uh, how have you seen him kind of handle the, the transition to joining a new team, especially in what seems to be like a pretty prominent role coming up for him? Yeah, good. And I just, I love the questions. Uh, there's questions with substance. You know, he was talking about some of our, our, uh, structure within our four check, uh, some reads within our four check, uh, within our track, uh, which is a positive. And obviously, the, the exciting thing about Vlad is not the fact that he's won a couple of Stanley Cups. I think he's evolved in playing uh, a right way or complementing winning hockey where it's a little more responsible, getting above pucks, uh, not giving up easy looks the other way, um, which is a positive, I think, going forward for us. Thank you. Nosey? Hey, Nosey. Last season at that stretch there, you guys talked about how everyone was kind of buying into that belief of playing for each other. How does that organically come up in the room? Is that through this mixture of players that from the messaging of the coaching staff, or is that just something that happens in the NHL because these are all professionals? Yeah, no, no, I think it's probably the, a little growth from last year. Um, you get a little taste of winning what it looks like, uh, what it takes. Um, so I think it's kind of something you grow, uh, you build on, you know, probably where we've been for the last couple of years. So Still going to come from the room. And I, I think you can see that. Uh, I really think the last two days of camp have been very good. They've been productive. You know, we talked about the push from some of our younger guys, but I still think it's been driven from our veterans uh, in that core. Thank you. Ted? Hey, Derek, I'm not sure if you touched on it yesterday or not, but just the goaltending. Is there going to be enough work here these next couple of weeks? Or is everybody going to get a little bit of a chance or what? Yes, and it's going to be a challenge. Obviously, there's we got a lot of goalies in camp here. Um, even in practice, um, it's going to be hard finding reps. All goalies should get some looks in the exhibition. There'll be a purpose with those looks of who and when uh, they need reps. Uh, we're going to try to find them in practice. And I think today – day and age of the NHL, the specialized goalie coach. Um, we're going to get those reps within some before and after practice too. So uh, definitely a challenge, but I, I do think there'll be enough reps to go around. In your mind, do you have a depth chart or is it, is it almost like a clean slate for you here? Uh, it's a clean slate. It is a true clean slate. Um, I think over the last two years, uh, all three of those goalies when I say those three goalies, we kind of have a vision. You know, Vili, Cam, uh, and Alex have had really nice stretches in this league, proved they can win in this league, and we'll look for one to step up. You know, Jack has obviously done that also. So, um, obviously, we have some numbers in camp, which is a little unique, but it's a positive. You know, I, I still look back to last year. We kept the three goalies around for a while. Um, wasn't ideal with that same question you had on some reps and, and uh, getting the nets at times, but again, it, 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 it saved our season. Um, and so it's going to be a healthy competition. It's going to be wide open and it's a clean slate. Well, we talk about clean slates. Have you guys, I don't know, have you talked to Justin Hole? I mean, is this kind of like 
a clean slate for him this season? Because it's just I think so. I've been happy. Yeah, I, I was happy with Justin last year. I've been I would have been comfortable playing him. We were comfortable playing him. Uh, we went through a season last year, and knock on wood, we were very healthy on the back end. Um, obviously, it's a really good job by Steve with the acquiring Jeff towards the end of the year. It probably wasn't in our plans and vision when the when the summer started. Um, so um, we have trust and faith in Justin. Um, he could give us good minutes in any situation. Last year, we just were extremely healthy. So we'll see how it goes this year. And one last one. So, I mean, when you see Austin Watson, I mean, he could he could provide a certain type of element for this team. That... Of course. I, I think, you know, he's he's done that, that element you talked about. He's done this league for a long time. Um, you know, I think when done correctly, every team could use mm. that and that type of player. Uh, I think what Austin has shown – since he's been with us and a couple of days in camp, uh, work ethic, good teammates, and he's still a first round draft pick, former first round draft pick. Um, he's an NHLer. You know, he still has a really good stick. He makes plays. He's had a really good camp so far, uh, two days long, long. Thanks for this, Derek. Bob? Now, Derek, along those same lines, Isaac Radcliffe's another guy you got in on a tryout who's, you know, a similar type of player, is, you know, nasty kind of uh has bite to his game like Watson is is that something you you felt the team I don't know if lacking is the right word but felt something you could use and that's why you're looking at those guys absolutely you know I think it was my comment um from the previous question when done the right way I think it's extremely valuable uh, obviously we have some skill um we would like that skill to be comfortable in the way they play and that can look different at times so uh, yeah, of course, I think we we would love that element uh, if it's the right fit. Thanks. Last question, answer. Uh, yeah, hi, Derek. Uh, you know, you lost a lot of pieces uh, on the power play from last year, and I know Tarasenko and, and Gustafson are, will fill a couple of those spots, but do you feel good about the other options you have? Do you plan on kind of giving a lot of players looks there for opportunities absolutely i feel very good with it i think it's a good problem to have um we don't have the perfect five if you will you know maybe where tampa was with all the hands lined up uh where washington was with their power play had so much success through those years but we feel we're eight nine ten deep on the power play same as last year um, we had a ton of success we finished top 10 in the league on the power play but that was done through many different combinations. It wasn't the same five guys. So we think guys can move in different slots. We'll have some different looks with some um, different hands uh, through both units. So I, th I think it's a good luxury to have. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Newsy. Thanks, guys.